It was practice day for the Seminoles in Nashville as Florida State continues its preparations for Missouri in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Welcome to Bridgestone Arena. I'm Lane Hurt. For Florida State, what a difference a year makes. Last year was a first time experience for everyone on the roster. This year though, the Seminoles know what to expect and are approaching things a little bit differently. I would say we feel more confident, uh, it's more comfortable, more just something we feel like we're used to now being back for a second year so we just feel more comfortable being here and it's not as much of excitement to us. I mean like you said you know last year was the first time so you know going in we had a lot of like we didn't know like you know what to expect but like you know we we like come back and like you know we the juniors like with the guys that we went last year we got more experience so you know we, we had higher expectations this year so I think you know it's, it's, we're excited but like we we, we we know we belong here. So I think that we've had some ups and downs, we've had some inconsistencies, but I, and I'm hopeful uh, that the wisdom that we've gained through the challenges that we've gone through through the course of the year, you know, will give us an opportunity to go out and show the, that growth now that we have an opportunity to participate in the NCAA tournament. Let's talk that first round opponent, Missouri, out of the SEC. They're led by Cassius Robertson, who's the all SEC first team selection. Leads the team in scoring with 16.2 points per game. But a lot of the talk surrounds the Porter brothers. Michael Porter playing in just his second full game of the season because of a back injury. He went for 12 and eight in his first game back against Georgia in the SEC tournament. He's definitely an X factor, as is John Tay Porter. He's averaging 6.8 rebounds a game and averaging 21 points per game over the last four contests. No doubt the Tigers are going to challenge the Seminoles in a lot of different ways. Their physicality and their ability to shoot threes, they are a pretty good three-point shooting team. So I would say that mixed with how big and physical they are, those would be two things that stick out about them. They are a great team. They are a very physical team. And they have a couple of team, big players that is going to be and high round pace in the NBA draft and prospects. So we just trying to contain them and contain them as a team and just play our defense and do what we do to be successful. For the Seminoles, it boils down to doing what they do best. And for them, that means pushing the tempo, especially against a Missouri team who only goes eight deep right now. So what we got to do is, is concern ourselves with going out and just being the best that Florida State can be in terms of our offensive schemes, in terms of our defensive schemes, in terms of our ability to execute offensively and defensively. We need to try to go out and just be the best we can be as opposed to worrying about a whole lot of other things. Well, we just have to control the tempo of the game. We, we have to be the aggressor and just keep pushing the ball and do what we do the best and just running the ball uh, down the court and just take wide open shots and take the shots that we do in practice and, and that's going to be good for us. It's the Knowles and the Tigers, the last game to tip in the NCAA first round, 9.50 Eastern, 8.50 here in Nashville. Of course, Simmels.com will have all your coverage during this tournament. I had a one-on-one -on -one with associate head coach Stan Jones previewing the Tigers and what they do best. And of course, Tim Lenefeld has his written content as well, a great article on the the relationship between head coach Leonard Hamilton and Missouri's coach Conzo Martin as well. That'll wrap up things for now though here at the Bridgestone Arena. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.